טוב, אז אני בואו גורגו נבום כולו, מה כל זה אמר כולו, מה כל זה אמר לכם. Hello good people, my name is Gogo Mpao Kamudi. I want to talk about the dreams that influences Amatluzi, like um, yo inzunza, yo mundau, balosi, and mundi kibuti. What does it really um, mean? There are dreams that specifically tells you that when a unetluzi, yo mundau, Let's say when a opopa, you're dreaming those big animals, the, the elephant, giraffe, the lion, the, um, the tiger, uh, cows. Ingwe. Um, Ingwe. Okay. Yes. Uh. Okay, yes, yes, yeah, that's a leopard. So if you dream of those animals, it means your ancestors are trying to pass the messages through to you because when you belong to the Mundawe tribe, if you, if you dream about snakes, yellow, black, yellow, brown, green snake, it means your, you have an Inzunza spirit. Your ancestors are trying to come to you through using dreams. If you dream a lot of water, dams, rivers, clear waters, not muddy water, not dirty water. It is the Inzunza spirit ancestors that are trying to come to you, communicating messages to you. But also dreaming about the water signifies that you have to be cleansed, that your ancestors prefers you to be cleansing, to be cleansed, to cleanse uh, a lot of times. If you dream of birds, it means you have the below sea ancestors which are able to communicate with you while you're sitting. You think somebody else is talking to you right next to you. Their voices are very distinct. So you, 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 you hear the voice in your ear like it is your own thoughts, but the voice is very, very powerful. It would, it would be like you're sitting next to someone. And the Mundiki, the Mundiki uh, spirit also, which is connected to the Batosa, Amambondo. Um, if you, if you, if you stream a lot of goats, a lot of goats, um, a lot of livestock, a lot of goats, specifically goats, know that you are connected to the Mundiki spirit. Ancestors shows themselves in different ways and, and, and they will always want to appear in different forms, but also they, they would appear, um, wearing Amabai and there are specific Clothes, there are specific, um, let's say, specific amabai that ancestors of certain spirits um, appear in dreams. Let's say when a unzunza, unzunza, the specific clothes that your ancestors will appear wearing, or they will show you, or you will dream the specific cloth, and that person that has passed the gift on to you will appear. Sometimes they use somebody, somebody else's resemblance. Either if we're on a Siposaga Gogo, there will be a woman appearing or a very old, old, old grandmother appearing wearing that cloth wrapped around her body. Or she'll be kneeling down, akayumuti, grinding on uh, 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 the, 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 med the medicine or herbs. If, if, if you have the, the Mundau spirit, your ancestors will appear or a lot of times... Um, in a crawl they will appear they like to appear in a crawl sitting together you know they would like to buy down bow down they don't like to show their faces a lot of times and inzunza likes to appear a lot of times at the water and they will show you the the this coat amajaz inzunza spirit ancestors thereof they like to show they they will like they will show you what kind of justice you need to wear there are specific colors. I can only mention the ones I know of. It's green, yellow, um, green, blue, blue, green, or white, white with the, white with blue, or blue with white. It depends, Uguti, what your ancestors had, because you are going to have exactly what they had. So what what you what you'll be shown in the dreams is exactly what they have. So you must go. You must go. Get it? You must go have somebody else make make you must have someone make it make, make it made it make it for you, because when you have that kind of uh, 
coat just you you are evoking that spirit you are you are drawing your ancestors closer to you for every spirit there are different laws amapai that you can use to draw the ancestors very close to you for below see there is a double leaf um and a white white um white uh, uh boobies white white uh what is a boobie in English? White white lion, white lion. <laughs> There's a white lion that you can get. So a lot of times they use these those two. But also it depends. It will depend Uguti from which from which which language are your ancestors speaking. If it's Botswana, there's a specific cloth, it's in gray, the blue and white specifically, and there's also the the, the Pula one cloth which has got a lot of animals and tribes around it, which has written Botswana. A lot of times, the Balosi speaking Setswana people will use that. So if it's Balobe, do they use um, the double leaf one. Okay, so if you have Kasatsa dreams, if you, please don't, don't doubt for it. Don't doubt. However, however, I would like to reiterate and mention that if you have dreams of any of the animals that I have mentioned chasing you, Zikatlela, Zukokota, Zifunugukluma, it's not your ancestors. If you have any of those dreams, um, having those animals chase you, barking at you, dogs barking at you, uh, when the snakes wants to bite you, or it's not ancestors. Ancestors will come in peace. They just come closer to you and they just sit there. Or you'll have a vision of, of, of the snake inside your house. I see that a lot of times. When I would be sitting, I would see visions of animals in my yard. A lot of times. But I know it's ancestors. So they will make sure that you see them. But it's just for, for, for seconds and they just go. So, if it's anything that is fighting you, definitely not your ancestor. Yeah, you must investigate that. That could be Avatagati. So, ancestors, in fact, there is. If, if ancestors will never come into your dreams, in your visions, fighting you, they come in peace. They come because they want to visit you. They want to talk to you. They are things that they want to show you. They will never want to fight you. Agwande, Togozani. I will talk more about. I'm a poor poor when Zunza Munda Mundiki Balosi and um Mundiki Zunza and Munda. Yeah, I will make more time to talk about it because it's very much important to understand what kind of spirits you have, even if you haven't went with your soul, but having dreams would actually signify what kind of spirit you have, what kind of ancestors you have. Because um, it, it, it starts there, understanding who you are, where you come from. When I'm talking about knowing who you are needs to be from, needs to, need to start from understanding the type of ancestors you have, what kind of spirits you have, what kind of gift you have. Understanding what your ancestors are like will assist you. Let's say, so I would, I would, it would make sense to me if, if I dream, a dream, a tea, like because um I know Uguti ngato nsela yonke mi moya so if you are not sure Uguti when uh, you you've got uh, what type of a uh, spirit you have or ancestors is it munda o mundi on zunza if you have unzunza spirit dreams will will signify what kind of ancestors you have because ancestors if you partly can lila uche simple po the baya gua zuguti ba vele ba zvezo gwe na guta ba abapanjan it is important also to to keep on lighting a candle and questioning and asking them asking them questions that you want to understand a whole lot of things because doing nothing from your side they don't do nothing them them also they don't do nothing ancestors sometimes they require us to do more in fact they want us to do a lot because to us they have already given us everything according to us and book we just have to unleash it we have to go find it. We have to unravel it. We have to rebirth our gift. They will find us. They will, they will show us the way to us.